Sandy Hook is a prime spot for birding. It is designated as a Gateway National Recreation Area and is administered by the National Park Service. Sandy Hook is also recognized by the National Audubon Society. The National Audubon Society is an environmental organization dedicated to conservation and one of the oldest organizations in the world. Because of their work, they have collected valuable information throughout Sandy Hook for over 20 years. The New Jersey Department of Environmental Protection designated Sandy Hook a Natural Heritage Priority Site one of our state's most significant natural areas. Because Sandy Hook is so diverse, it brings in a very large feral cat population that prey heavily upon nesting shorebirds, especially the piping plover. Fencing has proved inadequate as many animals enter by digging under the fence. Beach nesting birds are further challenged by frequent disturbance by heavy recreational use of the beaches. Recreational activity near important nesting areas should be limited or restricted during the breeding season. Here are some of the most popular birds you may find when you come to Sandy Hook. Piping plover. Their conservation status is near threatened, meaning they may face extinction in the near future. The piping plover is a sand-colored sparrow sized shorebird. As an adult, it shows its yellow-orange legs, a black band across its forehead from eye to eye, and a black stripe running along its breast line. In June of 2019, Sandy Hook canceled all of its summer concerts due to the piping plover because they discovered nests near where the concerts were held. Next is Black Skimmer. Black Skimmer has a long lower mandible than the top, and they feed by touch. Not many birds feed in this manner. Half of its bill is red, and its legs too. Their call is a barking cack. Their underparts and underwings are white. It's also black. It also has a black crown nape and upper body. The American Oyster Catcher. This bird has a black and white body and a long thick orange red bill. This shorebird only lives on salt marshes and barrier beaches. Birds have a whistling call which could be heard from a mile away and they're the only birds in the environment with the ability to open large mollusks such as clams and oysters. Red Knot. It's a medium-sized shorebird. They have a small head and eyes and a short neck and a slightly tapering bill. These birds are matted gray on top with the cinnamon face. They are found on all continents except Antarctica and can migrate exceptionally long distances. When red knots eat mollusks, they swallow the shells whole and crush them up in the muscular part of their stomach known as the gizzard. Least tern. This species population is decreasing, but they're not classified yet as threatened. Their upper parts are fairly uniform pale gray and underparts are white. Their head is white with a black cap and line through the eye of its base and their bill. They fly fast with jerky wing beaks. They prefer sandy beaches for nesting and can be found up river systems into the interior of our continent. The osprey. This species is New Jersey's largest raptor. It shows brown on its upper parts and grayish on its head and underparts. Ospreys are common, soaring over shorelines, patrolling waterways, and standing on their large, huge stick nests. Every year, this species migrate to Lake Valencia in Venezuela. 